Yo, this is the experts on the Solid Network podcast. Come to you again today. Um round 2 is finished. But before we get into that, uh want to introduce my failing but trying co-host. Uh what show time? Yeah, he's on on the, on the mic now. All I running on last week trying to get off of me in Boston. But Mr. Houston and Six, but we could deal with that in a minute because you know I don't like take last. Uh, and then Yo. we got Father Sands. Oh, the Sands are in the building. This, I uh, know you got a doctor, but Daddy Sands. I ain't seen no Doctor Sands, man. Doctor Sands always knows the truth, man. No man, Doctor. I ain't seen no no plaque on the wall. Doctors just put their name on the doctor wall. Doctor degree, eight years. He didn't put in his work, brother. I ain't gotta put eight? my degree with you. Eight years, brother. <laughs> He done put in his week. Once he's mine, I'm putting eight years a week. You understand what's going on? Get over. Get over. Cool. So we are in round three now. You know, round two, just wrap up. Yeah, we got to wrap up round two. And after all that, all that running on. Yeah, you... We you, break even. No, 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 no. Everybody <laughs> break even. No, 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 not everybody. I pick Golden State. Yeah, well, well, two us pick Golden State. Only one person picked Greg and Houston in six. He picked Houston. I mean, it was in six. That was a good team. It ended in six. Seventy-five percent way better than fifty uh, percent. How did I get seventy-five? It is what Mr. it is. So, Mr. Denver is a full all-around team. And no, I picked Denver. The Joker. I picked Denver. Uh, do you all pick Denver? I picked Denver. I, no, I didn't uh, pick Denver. Well, no, negative. No. Double I negative. Denver. I picked Denver. Double I know, negative. I know, so I'm big Denver. I picked Denver. Denver. Paul and Paul and going to get any things. Game seven. <laughs> um, I can tell you one thing. But uh, let's, let's talk about Golden State, though. Let's talk about Golden State, Houston. No. Let me, I mean, yeah, we can talk about that first because play Toronto, Toronto. Anyway, let's talk about Houston going to sleep. That, that, that Toronto series is interesting, but so uh, show yo, I mean, so Kevin Durant, let's 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 recap, man. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go re- back. Let's, let's go back because you had them, you had them to beat a healthy goal. Well, they ain't not boogie. But let's you had them yeah. to beat a healthy Golden State let's in recap, six. Man. So, but yeah. now y'all got a break. So in game four, I think Kevin Durant pull a little hamstring or a little calf muscle and whatever. So Kevin Durant gets injured. So you all had like. I mean, he got injured what the third game quarter? five, game five, third quarter, the third quarter, third quarter. Game so y'all five. could have run them down in the fourth quarter, been game five, which y'all didn't, you lost. Then game six at home, he's saying, okay, no KD, gotta win this one. I thought Harden was gonna explode, go off. Chris Paul can do anything. I mean, you know, what, what, what happened? Yeah, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> James Harden, James Harden didn't do his thing. James Harden oh, is, didn't do his thing. Tucker come out with the first. And uh, Chris Paul, Chris Paul boy, that's, Chris Paul, Chris Paul choke on me again. That's a real let down. But it is what it is. I mean, he played good that game. And he wasn't even injured this time. At least he, he, he ain't even game. had no excuse. And you know, I was tearing from all the, 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 the everybody, everybody. I used to, I used to play. I it was, it them, was a know. bunch of close games though. This, this can't even lie. This my last year, not sports betting. Coming up next season, and all sports, basketball, baseball, football, I betting. I, I because I, the odds is be too easy. Yeah. They throw the odds way up on Houston because the round wasn't playing. If you did bet Golden State that game, you'd have made your, your money back double. And for for me, I just thought I was so surprised people, more people wasn't betting on Golden State because like they didn't do it before. Like, all right, first of all, everybody they, just was hoping for a game seven, man. You know but I mean, but first of all, let's let's be real, man. They they didn't win without Durant, right? They they didn't do it before without Durant, right? That's the first thing. Secondly, if you count, they think Durant got injured in third quarter. That was a perfect opportunity for Houston to win that game. If you can't win that game, I don't have much confidence in you winning another game or even winning a series because you want more than enough time to win that game. Durant get injured. If Warriors are supposed to collapse, they'd collapse right then and there. So but Houston just they they just didn't have the will to take it from the Warriors, man. And That's- then you gotta you gotta be able to read spots. Like you gotta be able to see things like even game six, half time, Houston fans dead excited. It's like, bro. Step up zero, you know. He ain't score yet. They score a tie, and step up zero. You really think you're all about to win this game? And look what happened in the second half. Of course, Stephen Curry is not gonna go blank a whole game. So like, half time the man come out score thirty three points. Like you should have know better. Should have. That is like, bro. I I, I didn't understand I, the coaching. I don't. I, I, uh, boy, ask back to me, and you don't agree a lot. But uh, wait, the coach, I don't understand. Like I, you done don't have the run to worry about. How you could be letting Steph just come off screens and spot up like you know yeah. his game? They they were supposed it to. It's hard to stop it. I, it's it, hard to stop it. It's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. But my it, lord, double it, team it, triple I it's, team it. I think it's, it's a little come harder. On. It's a little harder to stop it when Durant can't shoot. Durant ain't there because now they 
just trying to look for Steph. Boy, and Clay could throw up, but Clay has hit some of the most yeah, unbelievable shots. At least Steph. Steph has come off screens and he's set he foot this and that. But Clay has just catch the ball and whatever but angle he at, that ball in the air. And it's dropped. Obviously, we can see Clay grow up as a Laker, Kobe fan, because he just takes some flicking ridiculous shots. He just shot. threw it. <laughs> you can see that. Um, but my thing was, with, with I, I watched that game six, man, and, and by the Splash Brothers, they just put on one killer instinct that I'm like, boy, Harden, if you say you was the MVP, <laughs> bro, take this game over. You would be killing for the whole, the first three quarters. You... Killing, you're, you're stirring, your pot, you're cooking and all that other foolishness. That four quarter come on, why you just seeing say, you know what, but let me put my foot on the gas and let me let me take this game. And he did that, you know. He did that. He just was missing, man. He just, <laughs> he just was missing the fellow must be going must be but six for thirty. <laughs> twinkle toes. Listen, that's that back. I can be real. I can be real. James Harden, Chris Paul, I can't wait. No. I can't wait. And you know what I realized the other day? Chris Paul is making more than him. I mean, and that's really they not. signed him to a contract extension, give him more money than James Harden. He's like, this nigga don't barely even do nothing. It is what it is. I ain't yeah. even talking about the figures right now. But I'd have it, been hot. It, at the end of the day, it's all about execution. So, so it's all about being successful. And and in this league right here, it's all about numbers. Who got the most points? So you think they should break that team up? That's it, man. That's I, it. But really, I wouldn't even that's invest. I, 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 I almost feel as though that's like a DeRozan and Lowry. Yeah, like he already was it, 32, 33. It was feeling DeRozan and Why Lowry-ish. would you even give him a five year extension at that at that amount of money? Yeah. Change it. Change it. That's and it. he ain't even loyal. He ain't like Chris Paul was like, how James hadn't been there so long. Like, you want to reward him for all this way. That man just reached there. And that's the type of contract you was looking for yeah. that problem. Yeah, I, I would I would probably keep Harden. Definitely. And Tucker. Mm. And everybody else, I would say, they could get you. And then you go and do Capella. You go and give Capella all that money. And, and, you, Ca- and, and Capella flicking get. Like, you don't learn from other people. It's made, look at White Side. Look Tristan at, Thompson. Like, or like all, exactly. Every time these big men is beast out their contract year, all type of rebounds, exactly. blocks, lead, the, the career high in points and field goal percentage. The second they, they sign that contract, big brother. I, they straight and, uh, I, I discipline, got discipline, no discipline and, that, and that's what's bugged me and NBA contracts fully guaranteed so big man these dudes <laughs> like you say he contract year he was balling now this year and this is why people just be like oh he, he, the, the big man he ain't a skill no more Golden State ain't playing no big man negative Not they ain't playing no big man and you can't be dominant that series you get 6 eight Draymond uh, uh, dominating the paint come like, on really? man Wow. You're supposed to have 20 and 10. How you ain't dominating that series? So I think they need to try to get... I wouldn't say actively try to get rid of him, but definitely he, he needs to be on a trading block. Definitely. Uh, While well, you could still get... At this point, you still could get you something. You still could get something for him. If you see Chris Paul really get out of shape and really fall yeah, off... But you that one over. That, you that, stuck that, with that ooh, nigga. Ooh, that finish. You stuck with him. That finish. And I think they almost to the point where they stuck with him. But nah. he, he on the cliff. He like right there. Right on that cliff, looking over like... Big man... But don't forget, don't forget, uh, Chris Paul is in the same. Chris Paul came in, he probably should be in his 15, 16 year. He old. And that's it. That's it. He hang at the balance, hang at the books. He... That's it. I give, I give Chris Paul about two more years. He and that's 14 it. year. But he I, came in 05 with Dwight. Two more solid years and then. Two more solid years and bottom line, that's it. And that's, and that's but, it. But. If, if, if or a lot. If that. If or a lot. Because again. Next year, next season can, can prove whether he's still at that level or not. Right. Because they already have him in, what, tier three, tier four? He ain't even in the top two tier no more. He in tier three now, or tier four. But, and and the thing is with Chris Paul, point guard. if I want people to realize, I mean, but he, if you look at his numbers, he probably plays solid, you know, but it's just play, you, you got to play like a star, boy. Like f- 15 and, and eight or 16, good enough. Once you know? that, once that I can't do it no more. This oh, man, no. I mean, I, this NBA is all about. And like I said, I don't blame Harden that much either, you know. Harden, Harden played a good series overall. Yeah. But it's just Tucker. Tucker showed up as well. Tucker showed up as well. Yeah. PJ Tucker showed no, up as well. PJ Tucker showed up. PJ Tucker showed up for what he is. For what he is, he showed up. Yes. For what he is, he's a show up. Yeah. For what he is, but influential it, player. It just was no other. No other. No 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 other heart on that team. No. Exactly. No. I that's didn't what, see the drive. I didn't see the necessary that's engagements. I, I didn't see. I I see that going in six because like I say, it, I, you I can't, definitely that's one of the, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. You in can't six. expect them to beat. 
that's one of the best teams of this decade, I guess. I would never say of this decade so, of all time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, not far. It's, of it's, all it's time. one of the best, one of the best teams of all time. If you, Even if you go seventy, I mean, if you go seventy-three up. and nine and have the best record season team, that over. But see, they, they ain't keep the same team. Like you say people don't. Most NBA people don't compare like that because, like they say, the game has changed. The stuff would would they allow Steph them to do and get free? Like Gary Payton and Mingle. If you play Golden State with the nineties, eighties rule, Steph them be bloody by halftime. See, that's a, that's the thing. <laughs> and no Let foul. Let yeah, yeah. them used mm-hmm. to rarely fall out, and they chopping you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get confused. So he ain't coming off the screen. Real, a real analysis. You think? Well, understand this. You understand this, Mister X Factor. Shooting three. You can't compare crap. players. You only get to compare stats. That's just how the thing go. Even Numbers, with stats, statistics. Even with statistics, it, 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 it's not. That's why. I say, Listen, that's why I just say you got guys like Capella Listen, them who the will only, put up statistics, but they're not good. The players. only thing that matters. Is numbers. I think, but I think that's that's championships. That's for both eras. Seasons. So. That's what I say. That's both eras. Because if you look at it, if, if you tell me, say, listen, the Golden State Warriors gone seventy three and nine, and they were the best season record team ever in the NBA history. You can't come on the show and tell me, say, they're not one of the best of all time. I mean, okay, across. If we, if we like, but okay, been plenty we, big dominant blame. Nah, nah, well, this ain't like, 2K. So we not to say they ain't the best, but I can't say. I never no, said those. No, I don't think they one of the best. I don't think they can ever easily. Be, they can never be called the best because of of KD going there, and no one really rate KD rings like that. So they ain't gonna ever really be called the best. Are they one of the best? Yes, they are one of the best. Seventy three and nine, like show say. Boom. The couple of rings with Steph have couple of rings, Dream on clear, whatever. Yeah, da, put da, them da. in the top ten. So they definitely one of the best. Oh, definitely top five. Right? Definitely mm-hmm. one of the best mm-hmm. dynasties or whatever, especially if they win it again. Tree Pete, ain't much teams Tree Pete. No. So, but when you talk about different eras. Ain't much teams back to back. See, when you talk about different eras, that's why I tell people. Yeah, you can't compare different You can't compare eras. different eras because just how, no. s- s- I don't think Steph, and I love Steph as a player, if Steph would play Mm-mm. back in the 90s. Role player. I think I think he would be a, I uh, know, I think he still would be a starter, but he wouldn't be an all superstar. Yeah, when I say role player, role yeah. player don't mean you have to come out. The yeah, he could be, be a starting role player. He'd be a dude who every once in a while he get niggas thirty, but it, they ain't gonna let him get that consistently because yeah. all the hand checking and all that and, stuff. And even his coaches would hold him back because they'd be the st- the shot Steph take. They'd be like, they'd, they'd be they'd, mad at the like, 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 Just be like, shots. bro, we about driving, dunking, and yeah. mid range and stuff. Dominant, He's the up with them three point the big point. man. We ain't on that run. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, big man the ball, obviously yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I do like what my co hosts are saying. They be so what? But I technically disagree because Steph Curry obviously changed the game. He did. He, he, on the whole. He did. So you can't tell me the Steph Curry, was, no. if he was in the 90s, he wouldn't get his points and he wouldn't get okay. what he deserved. Okay, no, okay. Understand what I'm saying. He changed the game. Understand what I'm saying. On top of that, Steph the Curry, it was me. easier to change if, look, the game because Steph see, Curry listen never had a big. Hey, listen okay. to me. Anytime Put him on an old Houston team and see if you shoot up all that. Let me talk Let me talk though. Let me talk though. Let me talk though. Let me talk though. Anytime you see a man change the game, he could come with any error and succeed. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, okay. No, show, I I can agree with you. And and this why I trying to this why I trying to say first of all now when I say Steph Curry the player right now Steph Curry the player in the nineties wouldn't, wouldn't be, be as effective the Steph he is be, today because of the rules he could play in that in that right? era but tell, he can't be tell that me but, tell, let me but, ask you question but, but tell me which rule follow me follow me follow me show follow I me I got you follow me right I got you so he wouldn't be effective because of the rules in the same way I believe a dude like Magic Johnson. In today's era, if Magic Johnson played in today's era, we'd be talking about Magic Johnson as if he was Ben Simmons. Really? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. would be red and Magic right up. We, they'd be red and right up. They'd be like, but this boy can't shoot. He doing this. He doing that. You know what I mean? But and I Magic also Magic changed the game. Yeah, I also am of the idea, and this way, this way, I agree with you, show. I am also of the of the opinion that great players. Will find a way to be great no matter where they play. Boom. So I believe if Steph was born in the, inside that era, yeah, he he wouldn't play like how he's playing now. But he still would find a way to be a great player, even if he played more like a Stockton. He will, he will succeed. You see, what I say if he, he played more succeed. like a Stockton, a setup guard or whatever, who 
will hit the spot of three pointers, but still could play off you, whatever. He still find a way to succeed, but he just can't do what he's doing now. Uh, even Stockton is still among the league leaders in assists. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think I feel like and the same thing with Marjorie Johnson. Marjorie Johnson, if he's a player now, he would find a way to be yeah, a great player. Like Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons can't shoot, but like you say, he still give you that assist. Yeah. Still give you them rebounds. So like you say, you'll still find a way to great, be a great. Great players player. always find a way to be a great player. But it's not at the same magnitude no. of what you would have been if if you were in a different era. Yeah. At the end of the day, he still would be recognized as one of the great players. Yeah, he still would be. He still would be because great players always find a way. Great players have something within them. You say saying you can't just be a great player off air. You have to have something within you to drive you to be a great player every day. You yeah. say saying so you still the rules might be different, but and you would have to change your game, obviously, but same thing. So same same thing, same yeah. concepts, same everything, same said way. So you saying, but so, at the end of the day, Houston Rockets, <clears throat> Golden State Warriors, Houston Rockets, garbage. Golden State Warriors. <laughs> We've been telling you that. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't have my glasses on that day, and I didn't see it. So this, <sighs> so this is an interesting topic where I hear the. That was the easiest pick to pick. That, that, that was the easiest. That was the easiest one. <laughs> you get the easiest one wrong. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> what I, mean. I, 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 I had to have it, and, it, and, it, and the thing is, it's supposed to get easier after the drag. Yeah, just, but, but listen, it ain't no easier. Bro. That's, that's At fine. the end of the day, if listen to me, if you go with Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant game, you had you went. Seven game series with Kevin Durant, but but you know what hurt? If them? you take them seven game series with Kevin Durant and then you lose Kevin Durant, obviously I feel as though you have some type of comeback history. Whereas you could, you supposed to win that, yeah. But see, not hard. So you know what messed up too? Yeah. Uh, even though they did lose, um, Kevin Durant, um. I think Houston, right? They did try to build their team around beating the Warriors with Kevin Durant. So when Kevin Durant going down, that sort of messed up their game plan because now they had already had a strategy of how they could stop the Warriors with Kevin Durant. Now the Kevin Durant going down, now you can't really, you have to change up your strategy. And Mike D'Antoni is not a person that makes very good adjustments. So. I didn't see much adjustments. I think he didn't know how to react to Steph and Clay being so involved now in the offense. And, you know, that was the end of that. That was all she wrote. Yeah. yeah. Houston going home crying. That's it for him. Speaking of crying, Raptors versus Sixers. The best, good, the best series of the second round. That was like, a good I, like I told you all. That was a good series. That's the best series of the second round. That was, that was, that was nice. That was I, I love that series. But even the last shot, I couldn't believe it. That was a little fluky. But. Listen, listen, it was a little listen, fluky. Me. But man, you got to get the money props. Like it I is. told you, even last week when I was trying to explain. They say Jesus love is a bubbling over. While uh, <laughs> this play was running on. Kawhi <laughs> Leonard. I just see that thing just bubbling. It's the best player in that series. It's just that Philly had more talent. Philly had more overall talent. I thought you were going to say something. Else, but, but at uh, the end of the day, Kawhi Leonard, boy, that man carrying the whole country of Canada. On his shoulders. That, that, Not that, just Toronto. He came to the whole country of Canada was, on his shoulders. That was amazing. That's the most emotional. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop. Y'all shoot. really Wait. gotta stop. Kevin Durant scored way more points, had way more rebounds. The fella gone right there in Canada. And you can say to me right now, on live air, you can say to me that Kawhi Leonard carrying the whole country of Canada. Yeah, he can't. He can't them. I don't. I don't understand it. He can't run though. He can't run though. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. Kawhi, Kawhi, right now playing like <laughs> he's, he's, he's playing like one of the one of the. I got you, lad. He's playing. Kawhi playing. Like one of the two best players. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop. Hey, that man, do what he have to do. He I like, watched that whole game seven. Larry, trash. Siakam was must see under the bright lights, got scared. Game seven, he wasn't taking no shots, he wasn't being aggressive. He made good players coming down the stretch, but for the whole three quarters, but it was like when Philly go on a run, Kawhi had to come back on a run, right? Not Toronto, Kawhi had to come back on a run. I'd be like, bro, this man is basically legit unstoppable. And then Ben Simmons got in a little foul trouble, got three quick 
well, early fouls. He had to sit half of the second half. Second ben quarter. Simmons was a non-factor that whole series. Negative. Ben Simmons is the reason they even won three games. I wouldn't say the whole series. He just, in crucial moments, it was just a little, crucial moments is just a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. Ben Simmons is playing uh, good defense. What they keep doing was switching, picking, and rolling. Yeah, I know. I um, I actually am Milwaukee to beat them. Shout out Milwaukee. Um, but when you look at it, by Kawhi, and the thing is, I don't even think that's the best shot he could get. I think he could get a much easier that was, that wasn't a on a pull up, better shot on a pull up. Yeah, but that wasn't but a good shot. That wasn't even a good oh. shot. But the thing is, like I tell people, with when they, or when these dead LeBron fans was running on last year, it's much easier, and you shoot the ball much confident. When the score is tied. Yeah. So you could take a bad shot in a tie game because you, you know, you oh, I miss it. Overtime. Okay. It's if that ball is bubble out, okay, we go to overtime. We, we duke it out. But if that, if they was down one, I guarantee you, I don't think Kawhi is taking that shot if they was down one. He's going to the basket. He would have had to make a sensible play to try and draw a foul, either try and head fake or either try fake. and make a, take a quick, that was a long, that wasn't even a three, you know. That was a long That two. was a long two. Fading away in the corner over a seven foot one and beat. So it's like, you know, if, if I could throw it up. Like he said, he just wanted to get it up in the air. And luckily, that series, that series actually came down to that's one, a nasty bounce, down a one shot. That is true. And he, and he was being chased by flicking two niggas because Ben Simmons is start off guarding Six, him. ten, and seven foot. And then Joel and Bede pick him up. And then. But yeah, that ball had backspin on it from it when bounced. he let release it. It hit the front of the rim. Had say. forward spin, go on the other side of the rim, kick a box spin again, and then drop in. That's just a good shot, boy. Boy, that's a good shot. And, and I almost did one cry. Boy, I'm even a sixes five. I know it be it. I I ain't blaming for not holding that in. Uh, let me ask you guys now. Uh, who you had the uh, win the series? That was the seven game. That was Philly and seven. Uh, one shot changed that, and that, and that was the first it's like it's, it's, first game, seven game winning shot yeah. in NBA history. Like, I, I came away I, from I, that. I, I understand all that good stuff, but I'm so asking. That's what it took. That's <laughs> what I don't want to. I don't want to run from the point. First of all, like you, I say, the point. you always like to magnify these things, but when it's your time, you want to sit in the corner. Oh well, Houston trash. No, you trash because you pick Houston. So don't come here trying to magnify. At least my series was closer and much better. Yours was a clear cut Golden State, and you couldn't pick that. <laughs> I had a seven game series where a, a miraculous shot had to happen for my team to lose. Oh, that's your team, and, uh, uh, that's The your team, team I pick. The team you chose. It's, it's, it's picky, try to say. All right. Well, but but say, don't try to say it. Yes, that's what I'll say. That's yes, what I'll say, right? You, you ain't getting like anything. I, 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 I walk away from that series thinking. I was truly entertained. Thinking that Philly should not be disappointed. Mm. They, they should not feel as if. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't say that. Toronto is the better team. No, no Toronto they, is the they, better team, but the problem is you ain't gonna have that same team coming back because I don't think Jimmy Butler can stay. Well, and Jimmy Butler played big. He played big the whole Jimmy series. Jimmy Butler keep them in that series. So, I thought Ben Simmons keep them in that series, man. What, what you Jimmy about? Butler played big. If, if, if I'm if I'm the Sixers, General Major, I say, I'm, uh, Jimmy. Who, Elton Brand? Elton, if I'm Elton Brand, I say, but Jimmy, whatever they say, bring you back. We gotta bring you back. Tobias ass, you could go. Yeah, Tobias? You could go if you want. Like, <laughs> if, you, if you want to go somewhere. Go to Brooklyn or something. You wanna go somewhere? You could go. Yeah, but yeah. Jimmy. Too much stars, man. We gotta keep you there. They gotta keep Jimmy there. Too much stars is not enough role plays. They gotta try, but I don't think Jimmy's staying. What you think with Redick? I think they need to keep him too. Yeah, he ain't got much to I, 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 I know he had two years on the contract. They, I think this is his last year. They need shooting, so I think they need to keep him too. They 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 should. They should. They he, he shoot. He shoot lights out, boy. Yeah, they need you. He can shoot. Need to keep him. He can um, shoot that rock. Another game seven, Denver and Portland. That was a surprisingly entertaining game. Uh yeah, more entertaining than the big, the first couple of games of the yeah, series. Yeah, that it was, was surprisingly it was pretty good. Um, Coming down to then McCollum, cause damn. Damn, that all I'm out. All I'm out before game seven, dear brother. No, no, Listen I, to me. That fella, I, I don't see no pressure. That fella I, come prepared I, for war. I look at it as a next Boy, game. McCullum, he come, McCullum game come prepared for war. Anytime you see a man, anytime you see a man dress up in a suit after the win, you don't know he had in his head. He can be. He closing this out and we, we can look professional. And we can look professional while he yeah. do this. McCullum, he came for blood. He, he, he really. Um, Listen to me. The fella had on his funeral suit. He really was um ready for that. Yeah, man. I said, man, he so, going clutch, man. 
He going clutch. The problem with that From is... I see him get the uh, the brown like chase back, chase down. Uh, it's not just about yeah, brown thing, man. Of course not. He said it himself. The problem with the brown like chase down. <laughs> He the, said it is, uh, I hope you know the straight show. And I know sure you I know you're a LeBron fan, but I want you to notice what has gotten these players. Hey, these players so 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 good now with so, LeBron. So far during these series. But if you notice, these players playing with a killer instinct that you usually see from a and I ain't really a big Kobe fan, but you usually see from a Kobe. When you look at Kawhi, Kawhi take how much shots the other night in game seven? 30, 30 something. Yeah, That's yeah. the most shots he ever taken in his career. He said, you know what? I guarantee now fighting. And you know what's made me laugh with these LeBron fans? And let, let's just put it like this. Over the summer, watch the people who, who wake up with Kobe. Giannis. Kawhi. Kyrie. Certain players like that. And you'll be like, wait, this season, these fellas gone off. Watch the people who wake up with LeBron last summer. Melo. Out the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ben Simmons. The man just say Ben Simmons is garbage. These the fellas who's way good with LeBron in the summer. Like, you don't see no improvement in these fellas' game. I like. Like, I don't understand it. Kobe like, Flick here, go on. Wait, <laughs> right, Kobe, Kobe posted the picture right after <laughs> Honey. All the games ever. He posted the picture with him. I go I and Giannis like, wait, take two by poor and she's in these two comments. Exactly. Guys, eh? I said, go and you know what's made me laugh at LeBron? That's why I don't like LeBron. LeBron is a media man. And he know that from, from before he come in the NBA, he just is fiddled with the media. Some of the, why do you think he'll hurt he mellows look so good? LeBron, every, when you watch them, you ever see him in a shop? Even yeah. Ben Simmons is be hitting three pointers in them in them mixtape days be making in the summer. <laughs> LeBron has have them mixtape looking like by these fellas can dominate the league next year. That time they probably taking like twenty shots and hitting three, but out of them three, he make sure that editor edit that out to make it look like that whole game gone without a missed shot. And you see the su- season come up, mellow. Houston let him play, but see, but three games out of there. You should say that's enough, but I, I gotta take the borders. I be like anyway. So you got me to defend your boy or what? The chase down block. You know I, I don't know how many of those I can remember seeing. <laughs> that, that's a pretty big play in the game. Can you talk about that for a second? Yeah. Um, I think it was a, a turnover that led to a run out. They passed it ahead. Seth did a good job of, of kind of undercutting, like cutting his, cutting off his lane, making him have to go, you know, over over his head. And uh, he put it right there for me. I just went and got it. Uh, Bra style. Shout out to my guy, Bra. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't know, but yeah, one thing with LeBron uh, fans, I don't even know McCullum, what that just now. <laughs> McCollum, yeah, you know, shout out LeBron, shout out LeBron. He say, yeah, shout out with them. the chase down block. He, he probably, had that brown instinct. In Probably's home watching it. He say, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, Kobe it. was home watching it too, of course, with five rings on the arm. You know, I don't. It's LeBron, an <laughs> the next thing I don't like about all of these LeBron fans, right? Right, and and LeBron flicker. Every time we think about the chase down block, we think about the one in the finals, right? And every time they show a replay of the finals, they always just show that chase down block. Why they don't show the shot where Kyrie hit? Yeah, win, like win the you block the ball, right? But you it's called afterwards. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all, like, anyway, like, like I say, it's a media thing. And I understand what the NBA do because it's all about money. Speaking of that, I just want to get on this before I forget. The whole media situation, y'all, anything y'all notice about the lottery last night? Because uh, I starting to believe this whole setup thing now. Well, you know. Look at it. I watched the lottery, right? And, you know, I was watching. Me, obviously, because my, my next had a slim chance to get the number one pick. I didn't know we used to get it. But, um. I don't even know slim chance. Y'all had the highest odds. We had the highest odds, but it wasn't a lot. <laughs> it's the, okay? the highest odds. The highest odds was like 14%. That's not a lot. You the, still have an 86% chance of missing. How much the Pelicans charge us? Well, we ought to get to that. We ought to get to that. <laughs> What I'm saying. So it's a big block party and stuff. Everybody in New York. I love you. Hey, I love New York Knicks fans. Hey, what up? Hey, hey, Knicks fans is killing me. <laughs> hey, I love Knicks fans. Hey, they hope it's be on another level. Don't matter how hey. much they lose in the past. Hey. They, they hope have hope they... for the future. But, but I don't know. Just just we flicking cock at every bar. We just celebrate. <laughs> Full well, jersey up. Hey, they got all jersey, all jersey, all jersey right up. I don't know. So, I don't know what's going on. So, so I watched the top four and... Lakers get four. Lakers get four. Like they, they first they put Lakers in. I say oh flip. Exactly. Then they put I think Grizzlies. Then they put Pelicans. Pelicans get number one. 
Then he put us. Y'all, y'all still in a good position because y'all probably we get, you, so you, we probably get, get RJ. We probably get RJ. What, what, what number two? Three. I don't number three. I think Jagger and number two. Jagger and two. Memphis won a point guard. So and who we get? Y'all, y'all still in a good position. We I mean, trade, from where y'all was. We trading that. From where y'all was. So no we, way we keep that. Yeah, point. y'all trading that. Why? Because we want superstars, bro. You Le- think LeBron come to breed rookies? LeBron, LeBron. He, ain't got, he only get three years left. In fact, he ain't come to grow no fella up, bro. He done got to deal with all Lonzo. Everything, and any, I think anything below the top two, actually, they probably could look to trade. Anything below, depending on how free agency shake up, where the stars move, et cetera, et cetera. Because you know, Andy Davis, he's still in play. And but, this way, I don't know. I don't know. Zion Williams. This is go this. This way, Zion Williams ain't going to tell four. This way, I can earn this. Right? I feel it fixed, boy. When Zion saw. But Zion was hot. I watch this nigga, boy. I'd have been hot too. Watch this nigga face talk. When Zion saw New York and LA was in the top four. But he is happy. Nigga boy. face like right flicking up. He said, okay. Nigga say, get a chance. New York or LA? Nigga say, boom. Then I see LA pop up four. He's like, okay. You know, it's a long shot for them to get four. He's too. Anyway, you still, still get New York in the play. Right? New York still there. <laughs> New York dropped dead. New York get dirt. All he had to say, because all he's saying is, Memphis or New Orleans? No, bro. I'd rather go back to Duke. And <laughs> sure enough, Pelicans get the first pick, right? I still don't believe these things Wait, fixed. I fixed. don't. You know why I know it fixed? Because if you look at the way things line up now, because Memphis pick is so high, Boston can't get it. So now Boston, because that, that pick was supposed to go to Boston, you know? The Memphis pick. Yes, the Memphis pick was go to Bo- supposed to go to Boston. But but, but it's, I think it's top three protected. So once they're in the top three, yeah, you can't, you can't touch it. So now Boston don't have a top five pick to trade to get Anthony Davis. New York, New York have the third pick, but guess what? Y'all traded y'all biggest asset already. Who get this? Light? And yeah. y'all heard about Pazingas getting the hip cut? Yeah, I saw, that. I saw, I saw that. He <laughs> <laughs> I saw that nigga. Some funny. He going to the club. <laughs> niggas, and get the airport trade over. Niggas first ball three years, man. What a flip. Like, I wasn't laughing at that, but what a sec. I was joking. Are you just reaching Dallas and not get your head swing off? Come on, man. But, but how niggas reach him, though? Niggas like, seven three. You seven three and getting beaten the bar? Like, Come on, man. But anyways, that, 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 let's edit. Anyway, like I said, the Knicks don't have no top asset to pick. Even though they have the third pick, guess what? Pelicans don't need your third pick. Because they have number one. The biggest offer that could come on the table right now is a number four pick, Lonzo, Ingram, who, um, what do you name Griffin? David Griffin. Love um, Brandon Ingram from he was at Duke. Yeah, he liked Brandon Ingram. He loved Brandon Ingram. He actually wanted to pick a Brandon Ingram. Kuzma, the number four pick. So that means their lineup next year could possibly be Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and they still could pick a five, uh, a center with the number four pick, like Ball, Ball. Oh, well, or Lebron, well, Lebron go. You talking about the Pelicans? We saying if they if we trade Farnie with the Davis. Lakers and if the Lakers trade for Anthony Davis and give up Lonzo and all them fellas. But, oh, 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 but see, it's amazing, right? Like that, you realize that that's how it's setting up. Yeah, it's, yeah, and and this is not the first time this happened before. That's why I say I don't want to believe this fix. But this ain't I, the first it, time it's it, happened before. It getting a little funny. To when me, LeBron we. left Cleveland, the next year, Cleveland Cavaliers were awarded with the flicking number one pick to get Kyrie Irving. And you know how I get one more thing. I can let you finish. But you know how I realize it get a little funny too. Who is David Griffin? Cleveland old GM. LeBron old GM. Yeah. So you can let LeBron old GM. Go to New Orleans with Anthony Davis. Get him the number one pick. Give Lakers a fourth pick. Like, really? And see. Like, this is so blatant. Like, I, 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 <laughs> this can't be no. And oh, all them GMs. Why you pick David Griffin? And the talk was. Could, was could it possibly be uh, Zion Williamson? Oh, that nigga hot. Anthony Davis. He said he might even try. They, no, say, I, they say he might even stay in Duke. No. I, no, I think, I think no. Anthony Davis, he didn't make it clear. He ain't, he ain't exactly. staying. Because Anthony Davis camp already said that didn't change nothing. But see, the, the, that actually make it worse. Yeah, that make it that actually make it worse. But he can suck up all the paint. Um, but the thing is with Zion, everybody was saying whoever get a number one pick have the biggest trade piece for Zion. So the NBA really flipped the, the tables on everybody head by just giving New Orleans Zion one time. Exactly. And now you give New Orleans Zion one time. What they trying to turn this into now yeah, is yeah. a bidding war. They ain't gonna trade that. So they are they saying okay. New Orleans now is operating from a position of strength where they wasn't before. Yeah. 
because now they're trying to keep New Orleans as a team. So whereas yeah. New Orleans ain't got to be desperate for Zion anymore because they have him. Yeah. They just could say, you know what? Bring your best offers to me. And like I tell people, it's a business. Well, you have to realize when Anthony Davis leave New Orleans, they are nothing. That team is finished. That no matter, city, no matter city, who did they get. Look at it. That city hasn't won an NBA championship. Whatever. No. Secondly, the Saints just got cheated out of the out of the football playoffs. That city is really desperate. If you let Anthony Davis leave that team, Anthony Davis really I've been to New Orleans. Anthony Davis has restaurants in New Orleans. Then but he has bus services. Like he has real businesses there. If you let Anthony Davis go, you let your city go. So in order to save New Orleans and still keep a team in New Orleans, you gotta get him the number one pick. Because now Zion can bring butts in the seats. I'm not sure even now. I, I don't pull against Zion because he's done some amazing things. I don't think he's going to bring wins because they're in the Western Conference and it could be a little tough. Not until he gets some players around him. Yeah, I don't think he can I bring that, one, he needs, that much he needs wins. Of, he needs one or two exposure. He needs, I, I, I need but some, he needs some... He can bring five. Couple season. Couple of mango season. He can make sure them yeah. seats full, but... Couple of mango season. Yeah, he need a couple of mango season. But he, like I say, if they trade with LA and you put all them young fellas around Zion... Who experience been around LeBron and Magic and all them fellas? They'll be a nice, entertaining young team. They'll be a nice young team. They ain't, like I said, they ain't giving no championship. No, they no. might squeak an eight seed if they play ball. Yeah, but yeah, I do believe. Nah, nah don't get me wrong. I do believe Zion have the potential to be a star. Like yeah. I talking about a nigga who could really lead this team to playoffs. I and, like and Bla- I look at him like a Blake Griffin. I do look at him like a Blake. And Blake, people is underrated Blake a lot because Blake Boy, before Blake. the injuries, Blake nice. Bro. He was nice, nice, nice before all them injuries and stuff like that. He had, he's nice. But I think um, this is so good for New Orleans. On LA. Besides the fact that they got Zion. Because if they did even trade Andy Davis, you ne- you ain't gonna never get no full return for Andy Davis. No. Not, not, e- not immediate. Not in the exact not in this climate. The most people got off you is hope. Hey, we can give you this pick. Hopefully Brandon Ingram turned out to be yeah. the next Kevin Durant. Hopefully. Or Brian Ingram, so. hopefully Lonzo Ball turned to be Jason Kidd. Hopefully <laughs> this pick turned out to be good. That's the most people could all, ever offer you. Can't keep a straight face with that, man. That's what niggas could say. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's what niggas say. That's what niggas could say. That's the most they could ever offer you. They, they can never give you a star straight up for any difference. Never. So the fact that they get a potential star, now they could go out and get the bunch of young pieces, who they could have as rule players or whatever the case may be. I think they could just turn this into a real bidding war. And they can say, boy, Boston, show me your best offer. Lakers, show me your best offer. New York, show me your best offer. Look at it now. LA has the best offer because they have the highest pick and the most asset. Yeah, I think LA have the best. I think LA have the best because offer. Because if right you look now. at it, Boston can't even trade Kyrie because he ain't under contract with them. So, like, if you look at the pieces they could trade, Tatum. Kuzma, statistically, Mr. Manovia says numbers don't lie. Statistically, Kuzma has put up better stats than Tatum. Yeah, I think he... Brandon Ingram and Jalen Brown. I think Brandon still, Ingram. I still think Brandon Ingram has a higher Ingram. ceiling. So if you look at it, the assets that the LA could send there is better. And they still have the fourth pick that they could send there but, too. But I, and I've been telling those this, so right? So I feel LA have the best package. I say, but if people have put LA players, some of LA players, and switch them around, put them in Boston... I like Boston a lot more. Yeah, they 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 they'd be nice. I'd be honest with you. I like Boston a lot more. I think if you put nice, Kuzma nice, in Boston, nice for Heaty. If you put Kuzma in Boston, yeah. you put Browning in Boston. I like Boston a lot more. No. Lonzo, I know what to do about Lonzo yet. I Lonzo. <laughs> I still I still off and on about Lonzo. Yeah, it ain't cool. I think Lonzo could be an okay player. When, I just, when I just hope he's working. I just Lamelo come in, man. I died of Lonzo. When Lamelo reach. <laughs> but I, I still off and on about Lonzo. But I think he could be a solid player. Melo Melo going inside uh, college this year or no? I think he probably. Because uh, I know he gone back to high school. So y'all, he might play the G League. But did y'all hear the the, the people, uh, the rumors of people saying Zion might elect to stay in college? He thinking about it because <laughs> because of New Orleans getting that number one pick. Do y'all think that's a smart decision or a dumb decision? Negative. I obviously think that's that, just, that'd that's be just, dumb. That's just media yeah. trying to keep people to watch the show. It doesn't make sense, big man. Like. Bynum did say back in the day when he was get, when he to get trade from the Lakers. Bank in every city. It's a bank in every city, bro. I understand you play this game to win you this and that, but you almost blow your knee out playing free for Duke last year, and they make millions of dollars filling seats, selling tickets, selling your jersey, selling your name, selling your action figure off of you. 
And it's time for you to get this this reimbursement. Buddy, you come from far. You was never, never scouted when you was small. People just started looking at you about two, three years ago. Yeah. So it ain't like you always had this this hype around you. So while you in this moment, cash in. And niggas is looking at you like a highlight reel, not necessarily a player. Yeah, exactly. You done a highlight reel player. The if he goes back, like like you said, Blake Griffin, one little knee injury, one little ankle injury, one little something, you become less explosive. All people can do is laugh at you. And then get this money, bro. You got flexing things like Achilles injury there at all time. Oh, High yeah. now. And you get Achilles injury, that's it. Don't sign with Adidas. That's it for that you. one over. You sign with Adidas, all you get is injuries coming your way. So, yeah, that's the egg rose. I don't freaking work. <laughs> the egg rose and Dwight Howard and all and the fellas who sign with Adidas. I wear Adidas. All you I get is injuries coming your way. I wear Adidas when I freaking bring my knee too. So I freaking... Uh, <laughs> you know, what? It is what it is. But, yeah, I think Zion, that'd be stupid. Go to New Orleans and... And they bought the trade out Anthony Davis. So you know they yeah. bought the throw the bank at you because now they don't have to pay Anthony Davis. Play a couple of years in New Orleans, you could like it there. What? Then then when you contract Super over... Max. When you contract over, then you just do what Anthony Davis is doing now. The monetary, the freaking... Yeah, that's all the, you got to do. The team, your it's choice. A, and New Orleans isn't that bad. It's a good city, cultural city. It's just that, but you ain't gonna win no championship. No. And don't make it seem like you... It ain't like you win on a Duke. You had the biggest, <laughs> you had the best team in the country at Duke, and you ain't win no championship. The biggest stage. So don't make it seem like oh, you were such a championship pedigree. I mean, not yeah. knocking Zion, but get your money, bro. That's I, I, think, I think I think he would have benefited more definitely from being in a big market though. And I thought I thought yeah. I thought the NBA would have liked to see that talent in a big market. They New would, York, but New York. listen, you gotta save. See him personally would be better, but like I say, they trying to save a city now. They trying to save but, a whole franchise. Don't forget, New Orleans done bounce over there. When they had that whole situation with the hurricane, this remind me of LeBron. LeBron saved Cleveland. Oh boy. Um, like you say, I mean, I I think I think sports, it sort of does remind sports me. Sports generates a lot of money for cities. So like it ain't just a, a basketball thing or a football thing. They generate you. a lot of money for cities. People come down, fly down, like playoffs. Now you get you know how much money these playoffs are generating for the cities. So just to keep the the, the fan base, just to keep mm-hmm. the, the money, money flowing right, right. through that city, mm-hmm. you got to keep that team relevant. And if Anthony Davis leave that team for nothing, bro, the Pelicans will be garbage for the next 10 years. And eventually, that team will be sold to Seattle. Yeah, like I said, you, you, when you trade Anthony, Anthony Davis, when you trade a player like him, you're getting 10 cents on so the dollar. So we bro. going back to Seattle Supersonics? Or what? I feel Seattle will have a team within the next five years. Yeah. It's just that Please I don't, I don't want to be a new team. I think they will buy out a team that is already in the NBA, that is failing, struggling. that they'll carry there. And more teams than not actually struggling in the NBA. People don't realize that that yeah. only a few teams in the NBA really, really making money. Yeah. Other, other, other teams that, that don't make money. Hey. <laughs> other teams that don't make money. <laughs> just like in football, uh, you have owners who just own teams just because they got enough money to own a team. And they throw money around. And they just throw money around. In, lo- in the pockets, in the pocketbook, they losing. Exactly. Because, like, you have to realize some teams spend big money on players and still be losing. Still jump, Whereas, jump a change. Like I say with the Lakers, and the, even when we wasn't making the playoffs, we wasn't making the playoffs with a bunch of rookies. All them on minimum salaries, and we was never over the salary cap. So that's very good. But And your stadium always sell out. Whereas a team, like, when Brooklyn gone and get all the Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce them, you have a full loaded team Paying the highest tax rate, and you ain't making it nowhere. And <laughs> you're flicking CTMD. That don't make no sense. You have you have teams that make the playoffs, and they stadium can't even sell out. Like they they in the playoffs legit, and you have empty seats inside the stadium. Denver. That that, that ain't a good look for yeah, for for the owners in, early in the series. But it is what it is. You say it. Now let me ask you a question, guys. Who? <laughs> Who you got in the in the first East in the Eastern Conference? Who you got? I think I think um, box. I think I well, got box. Obviously, like I say, Boston was my favorite. So if you beat my favorite, I gotta go with you. I game with Milwaukee because yeah. you already beat one of the biggest challenges. I got I got there. I got Boston. What? I got Boston. You say me Boston? You saw where? Let me Boston. I got Kawhi. I got Kawhi. You got Kawhi. I got Kawhi. Okay. All I talk, he just was talking about. But oh, Kawhi is this? Yeah, he's the best. Player. He's the best player. Okay, in that that series. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that. He's the best player in that series. Nah, he's, he, he, in he ain't the best player in this series, he big brother. He's God sent from Canada. He's the best <laughs> series and he's the best player in that series. Best thing since sliced bread. We've I never seen a character like this before. La, 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 la. He ain't the best player. Get him further than DeRozan. 
Yeah, yeah. In one year, you can't afford it. No, no, you can't can ever listen to me. You, you can't ever put the rosa. You can't ever compare. You know I mean, when the rosa you can't ever care. You you listen, you can't ever. The, no, the rosa been the Eastern Conference. They think, but it's just you in a we, in a week. Easy. No, that's, that's when Larry was actually. No, but good. you can't. Like com- he had so much help, bro. You can't <laughs> compare Kawhi Leonard, championship MVP, to the Rosen. Why? You know where the comparison come in? Where? Where you trade for them? Nah, see, if you I, trade I, I, now, I, I, no, next, no, that means no. they are on some type and, of level. And this no. is why I say it's so Impossible. dangerous trading Impossible. stars. Exactly. Like, it's so because now dangerous. you will always be tied to that person. They be like, but how can I get in Toronto? No. Oh, no. they trading for the Rosen. No, no. So it, 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 it didn't go like that. It didn't go like that. For man, and they trading for no. the Rosen and they throwing Danny Green too. To get Danny no, Green. No, but don't forget they trade in, they trade Lord. Kawhi along with somebody else. Relax. We don't even know what that is. No. <laughs> but but it's dangerous trading stars because no. wait, when but they the when the they day, gone, no, you but can't the get the them day. back. Listen, no. at the end of the day, if say listen, if it was a straight up trade where I one man more. for another man, you could compare them. It's two for two. But no. To, to one could have been high, one could have been low, and two could have been medium. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand? I, 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 that's real. I that's love real. the third. That's real. That's real. That's real. One could, be, said, one could be high, one could be one low. could have been high, one could be low, and then versus the other two was just medium. Where Danny Green and but see, uh, Tingham was. The reason why they compared the Rosen and Kawhi is because flicking that was the best probably trade at the time what people were saying that oh, they probably could have get for Kawhi. I didn't ask the best. I didn't ask the stink like. San Antonio just was being messed up. Like, they, they being... No, I think... They didn't want to trade him to a team that they thought... They didn't they know didn't, Toronto was going to be this good. No, they didn't know. They wanted to trade him to and a they team. And they didn't know he's going to be this healthy. Exactly. And, and, they, and they still wanted to compete as well, too, you see? So exactly. They, they, and they, they want, definitely wasn't trading him in the West. Yeah, so they... Because they, they know this would have been a problem. So they say, okay, at the end of the day, if we trade away Kawhi, hey, DeRozan, DeRozan's a good player. We still get a star. We still get an all-star, so... We we can make that happen, but yeah, awesome. Kawhi and DeRozan the East. it's levels to this thing, but yeah, you say it's yeah, on two different levels. It is what it is. Uh, Western Conference, you got Portland. Oh, of course I got Golden State. You got Portland, show. Uh, easy... I got Portland. Oh, sure, experience yourself. He was said Charles Barkley. <laughs> Paul, Charles, uh... Barkley. Charles Barkley technically was right because he did say Portland had the wait. The, that's the, true. The the, the 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 easiest road to the. Western Conference Finals. Boy, Charles Even though Bar- it wasn't easy. It, uh, it wasn't but easy. Either. But Charles Barkley said... He actually got that one right. He, he got that one right. But he did say, sure. after Kevin Durant got get injured, he said, Golden State wasn't going to win another game. So Yeah? Yeah, yeah. See, that's yeah. what you get. They always fall the end of I got Golden State. I think this could be a... Oh, this could be a quick one. This could be a quick I, series. I think this could be a long series. i say five games. Hey, you, I For who? Say, For Portland? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say I Paul. never say Portland. I never say Portland. Don't Paul. make my you. You just say, you just say I Portland. I say Portland. I like to make a correction. I just to be corrected. The most they gain is six, and that's if something happened. But I see it in five because... Um, Portland in five, man. I mean, it's me Portland in five. No, man, that doesn't record it. That doesn't record it. I think it's Golden State in five. Yeah, Golden State in five. And I don't think KD even play a series. I think they... Exactly. And you know what I think? As long if they if they win game two, like which they probably will, they can keep KD. They ain't gonna put KD in until they lose that one. That screen, yeah. listen, a screen, a serious screen like that, you're looking at probably at least about six to eight weeks, bro. But um, I don't think KD come back. But that ain't a serious screen. That's a, like a mild screen. Well, no, all right. I don't the reason why I say this he can walk. Can be quick. Listen to me. He can no, walk. No, he, he can walk. He, listen to me. He can walk. He walk. The, they put that the thing. They put the thing on him uh, as protection. That wasn't even. That wasn't even. That was that. That picture which you see on uh, floating across there. They didn't lift him off the court. No, he walked back. Yeah, to the he walked back, but he, he was ginger. He walked back. I, he was ginger. <laughs> he was ginger. But yeah, anyway, he was ginger. The was reason ginger. why I say this series could be quick, because you have to end this over in five, four or five, because you know you need rest for KD, and maybe probably Buggy for that finals. No. So you can stretch this to no seven game series. I mean, they rest in either way because they're on the side, but you need a, co- a le- collective team rest yeah. for when you go up against Giannis or even Kawhi. So they need to end this quick because that, that game, that, that series game is six or seven. No, I, what, they, what the Xbox really means is yeah, they should stretch it so it could be a long series so KD could no. have some more No, because then the, the more you stretch no. it, it's more va- variables to where maybe a Steph roll angle. No, uh, no, no, no. I, or maybe a no, clay roll no, angle. No, no, no. So big man, right. get this over in four right. or five, it's get healthy. It, get yeah. it over. At the end of the day, you could only hope, get it over early and you could only hope that the Eastern Conference last seven games. Now that make more sense. Uh, well, look at it like this. Um, if they get it over early, 
then no, I, I think say, regardless, I think I think I, think, I mean I think okay. regardless, the NBA finals start June fifth or something. No, like the NBA finals start at a predetermined no, time. It, it have an earliest date it could start, and it have a latest yeah. date it could start. It's not an exact date. But um, f- if you use Golden State, and if you look at old Steve Kerr playing, Steve Kerr playing them niggas, bunch of minutes, not not a Kevin Durant going up. So he that means he ain't putting he ain't holding nothing Seven, in the tank. I, he must have got but an eleven man rotation in now. Yeah, he ain't playing with them. He ain't, hold, he ain't he trying hold, to keep them fresh. Yeah, he ain't yeah. holding nothing in the tank. So it is, it is what it is. Because he know Giannis is a problem. Yeah, so get your role players ready. No need. We know. We already know what KD bringing to the table. Yeah, no Kawhi is problem. We already know what KD bringing to the table. So get your role players ready. Play them. End the series and won four or five games. And I, I don't think it go more than five. I wouldn't be surprised if they sweep Portland. Honestly, not to say I, I wouldn't be surprised. Not to say Portland, Portland dead, but I, I think Portland might have a hot game in Portland. Yeah, Me what? and McCollum them trolled once forty points and damn give forty points each. That's what but they can need to be them. That's what they, see, they, they can need a forty each. But I don't see. I don't. But see, people, people. I think people get it twisted. The Golden State Warriors don't really need KD to get through the West. Like, no. They don't really need him to get through the West. They need him in the finals. They, they need him in the finals when they want to match up with a Giannis or or whatever. Or Kawhi. Or Kawhi. But they don't need him to get through the Listen, West. Listen, I believe Bledsoe can play Steph Curry so hard uh, next year. He better be disciplined. Yeah, we know how that go. He but better anyway, be disciplined. When fellas go aggressive. Even Lowry. Lowry will play Steph Curry hard. No. Oh, that get true. Wait, not, wait, I'd be so sorry I, for Toronto. Let, let, wait, Kawhi face, he done up that straight let me, long face. Let, 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 so, let, 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 let me show Larry some love, man. Let me show Larry, man. Let me show Larry. Let me show Larry some love, man. Larry is just enough to get you, wait. Just enough to get you, Just enough, but he don't, he don't play he don't play well, but but I think he's do just enough to get by, dog. I need to be sure of my boy, It is what it is. Fly football, man. Moving on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what you got? This, big games this week. Big games this week, man. Big game this week. Um, uh, game of the week. Big game. Premier game. We got the Rams. What? Voices. Predators. They even made a commercial. I saw the commercial earlier today. We got Rams versus Predators. Predators are undefeated. Uh, the Rams are their official rival because we have some players who went back to the Predators who were on the Rams. And it's about a, it's a bunch of mouthing off and jockeying right now. So, a bunch of back and forth. Yeah, I don't see that game ending. They can call the game. So, but I, I know one thing. I know y'all can fight. Don't I let the that. Rams get up first. Because you know when they call the game, whoever have the highest score win. Oh, so if we score a oh first touchdown, God. you fight after that. We win the game. Oh <laughs> Double all. Y'all ain't easy. Y'all ain't easy. But well, the hitman, the hitman, uh, Coca Cola. Yeah, play. They play the Spartans. Oh boy, two twenty. First uh, game, first what's game. What's Spartans record? They like one and what, one and three. Oh lord, y'all get low. And the only thing they beat is the the, the team would waste in them, the Rebels. So that should be a rollover. Yeah, yeah. It I know there's one thing. All the games y'all play, y'all put up what thirty five, forty on all the other teams. But when y'all play, y'all play the Rams last week. How much it was? How many y'all got? Twenty. <laughs> how much more you want, B? And we, we <laughs> first of all, how much y'all offense score? When y'all play other teams, y'all is, your offense is scored three, four touchdowns. Listen, we ain't talking about the offense and y'all point. offense score one. We ain't one. talking about the offense and no y'all defense. Y'all offense score Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> who scored a touchdown? I, yeah, who? I remember. Y'all have a running. What the boy name? What's your boy name? Who's coming back to you? You gotta be truthful with yourself. Bro. The name? You know, I guess your boy. Relax. You guess your boy? It is what it is, bro. I didn't even see you. I didn't even know you come to the game. I think you play. I don't even think you come to the game. <laughs> I remember you there. I don't remember you there. <laughs> Did you remember the score? I don't even know how. Did you score? Huh? Huh? I always score. When? Every day. <laughs> Anyhow, it is what it is, gentlemen. This um, is another episode of the experts. Something. Oh, oh, oh. I have one last shout out. Shout out to my boy, uh, Andres. Michael. When I was running, um, running the bridge Saturday morning, heading down to Ocean Club, this uh, fan stopped me. He's like, "Hey, loaf X, what you saying?" He's like, "Hold on now." What's going on? He's like, "Boy, I just be waiting every Wednesday for signs to go live. Why you just be dealing with this and that?" And I was like, "You know what? And I have a loyal fan. He say he's watch the show and listen to the show every week." Yeah, man. So shout, out out, shout out, shout out, shout uh, out, Andres. Shout out, Andres, man. I'm just doing your thing. Shout Thanks for the support, bro. You know how the thing go, man. Support, Didn't know. Like I say, you don't be. You'd be surprised what airs are listening. I send this out every week to a friend I have in Canada. She sends it around to her group. 
um, one of my boys in Canada actually messaged me and he's like, bro, this you on this podcast? Because me and him went to school together. And he's like, yeah. He's like, but someone send us in one group. Because he living in Canada too. He's right, like, right, oh, right. I say, right. okay, okay. So shout, shout out to my... Shout out to your boy, uh, to Damien Canadian. To the listens in, the listens in Canada and everywhere yeah. else. You know, we love the support. Yep. Yeah, Appreciate it. More shout bigger out, things shout out the, this year. The, the, the Mars Bond group. Yeah. If not and Mars. if y'all didn't know, y'all could check out YouTube. We finally got the YouTube page up, so now we shout out them YouTube we visual them YouTube users. And we'll, our, we'll, our, we'll, be, we'll be posting them links. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hit up the YouTube page, subscribe, and get us every week. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Shout out uh, Miss Chelsea joining us today, along with Miss Steve Ed. Shout out the team, the big team, the whole team, the whole team, man. Doctor Pun, shout out Doctor Bob. Yeah, fire the pun. Eight, eight. Once he's been doing, you think eight years. Even if he was a plumber, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown been doing his thing about seven and a half years. So next month, uh, he'll have his doctorate degree in Brumlin. What do you say? <laughs> 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 it is what it is, man. All right, folks. We can see you all next week. Experts out. Kick it in the city when we in around town Next door neighbors telling us that it's too loud Now neighbor can you please just turn that mess down This is the sound of throwing pennies on the ground Turn it